Okay, let's get started with this. This here, it says, Expanding and Simplifying Algebraic Expressions Puzzle. So we did simplification last night, and just to, I guess, clarify as to what we need to avoid, just to avoid, what we need to avoid is, it's okay uh, if that were to be written by the commutative property of addition, that can also be written like this. And it can also be written, not at, this one isn't as simplified though. It can also be written like this. Those all are the same thing. Okay? Those are all the same thing. All right. Expand and simplify algebraic expression puzzle. Cut out the pieces, not going to do it, and organize them in order. There are four different questions. So we're going to take B. We're going to do this guy. Ooh. We're going to take that one. Okay? So it is 2 times the quantity 2x minus 1 minus 3 times, times the quantity 3x plus 1. I'm going to rewrite that. Um, you know, why don't you rewrite it also on the back side, please? I'll rewrite it right here. And you can find it up here. 2 times the quantity 2x minus 1. 3 times the quantity minus 3 times the quantity x plus 1. Uh, I'm going to keep it consistent. Now, what's the first thing we want to do here? What's the first thing we want to do? Uh, it is your last name, but it's your first name. This is not your first name, but it's your middle name. It's Burke. Yes. Um, distributive, distributive property. Why don't we want to do someone else? Why don't we want to do PEMDAS? Why don't we want to do parentheses first? Daniel. Uh, because you can't do exactly. We can't do order of operations because we are dealing with variables and we don't know what x is going to be or could be so we cannot do the order of operations so the first thing we need to do is distribute this 2 to the 2x and distribute this 2 to the negative 1 or making sure we keep that sign there so we have 2 times 2x do you need me to rewrite 2 times 2x no. okay. <laughs> 2 times 2x is 4x Minus 2 times 1, which is 2. Keep that there. Now we have to distribute that 3 there. We also have to distribute that 3 there. Now, there were a couple of issues with the additive inverse, where if it was simplified, we could also go that this here is actually going to be negative 3 times x plus 1. Because remember, the plus negative is just like subtraction. That's where a couple of you got um, a couple of points taken off, but that's a very reasonable mistake because you didn't want to distribute that negative in there. So now I'm going to go negative 3 times x and negative 3 times 1. I'm going to rewrite these. 4x minus 2 plus negative 3x minus 3. Negative 3x minus 3. Now I want you to look on the other side of this page that we're doing and see is there anything in that table that resembles what we just what I just wrote in red and what you just wrote in pencil is there anything on this table that resembles that like if we had scissors right now we would cut them out Phoebe four x minus two x Sorry, 4x minus 3x minus 2 minus 3. Exactly. That's the exact same thing. It's just in a different order. So that's a good way to make sure that you are on your way 
to getting the right idea. So we're doing B right now, by the way. It's hidden. Is in the top middle? B is in boy. Whatever. So we're nowhere on. We know we're on the right track. So I'm going to just rewrite this the way they had it. 4x minus 3x minus 3 minus 2. Now I need to combine like terms. My like terms are my x's. My other like terms are just my integers. So 4x minus 3x leaves us with how many x's? 1x. And do you agree that one of you is the same as you? Like, how many math classes do you have during the day? One. Do you need to say, I'm going to my one math class? No, you just say, I'm going to math class. Same situation with algebra. You don't have to have 1x because you know that it's, that variable is going to just be x. Then we'd subtract negative, th or we have negative 3 minus 2 is going to be Actually, hold on, that's not it, because this would be plus negative there. Additive inverse. Mm -hmm. Something doesn't seem right there. I'm second guessing myself. Plus negative five. I had it right the first time. I'm second guessing myself. I do that. I, did, I had like three really silly errors today during my pre-algebra class because I'm focusing on potential questions and up here. So catch me if I do something. I think somebody caught me on here yesterday. Catch me. So let's see if we have an x minus five. Yes. Good. So you are going to, after we've done that one, what you can do is, since we've taken care of, what was it, this one? No. So we've taken care of B, so we've already written that. We found that this was the one in there, found that this is the one in there. So just do a single line through it, because it's possible that you might discover a mistake after you're doing A, C, and D. Okay. So we've taken care of those. Now you just have to do A, C, and D. A is right here. C is right here. D is right here. Any questions before we move along? No? Okay. You go ahead and hop to it. <laughs> 